Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. I was going to do a top 10, but there's so darn many of these things that I had to at least do 11. There's actually more than that, but I kept it at 11. The first one is General Motors and ChargePoint announced a partnership late last year in order to install 500 charging stalls through 2025. So, assumingly, this is all going to be done in one year. The rendering indicates some kind of convenience store, but they don't indicate who they're going to be partnering with for these to actually get installed into. And uh, there does seem to be both pull-through and pull-in stalls. Uh, the throughput, they say, are going to be 500 kilowatts using ChargePoint Express Plus dispensers. The next one is General Motors again, but this time with EVgo using uh, Delta hardware, are going to be doing flagship stations at major metropolitan areas throughout the United States. Uh, very large uh, stalls. I think the smallest will be 12 stalls, and there'll be some that will be even larger than that, than that like up to 30 stalls or something like that. Using canopies at very nice uh, destination locations in major metropolitan areas. So none of those have been spotted yet, but I'm guessing at least some of them are under construction and we just don't know about them. Number nine, Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging. Last year, they kind of sputtered to a stop after installing about a dozen locations at Bucky's and one at their North American headquarters in Sandy Springs, Georgia, after much pomp and circumstance, it quietly petered out and it seemed like it was just kind of like dying on the vine or something. But then we started to get an indication that the progress was going to pick back up again. We were seeing charging uh, hardware getting ripped out and replaced. We were also seeing Alpitronic hyperchargers getting installed at new locations, and then we started to get additional press re releases, and uh, we started to get uh, social media drops and interviews. So the team is alive and well and funded. Um, there's going to be an I-5 corridor they're going to build. They're going to be putting in additional locations at Starbucks nationwide. They're going to be building at uh, Simon Wall Properties. They're going to be building at all the Buckies that both exist and uh, the new ones that will be getting put in. Uh, so lots of activity in the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging network. Number eight, ChemPower. They showed up to the States, uh, quietly opened, actually shouldn't say quietly, they opened a factory and basically invited everyone from YouTube to come into the factory before they began production. Since then, there was a out-of-spec video after the Ayana Cars and Coffee, they swung by the uh, Chem Power factory, which is very close uh, to where the Ayana Apex Rechargery is. And they did a site video indicating that uh, the factory is now in full swing. And so stations that look like this with a really nice uh, spring-loaded cable management that Chem Power is famous for, and also the uh, nice um, QR code in order to... Uh, have your stats follow you as you go in to get coffee or shop or whatever will be a part of the American lifestyle in an increasing frequency as Kempower starts to find their footing in the States. Number seven, Ayana. Now these guys are all business. And just think the members of Ayana make up some of the largest companies in the world. They do make up the largest car companies in the world, but they make up a collection of the largest companies in the world who definitely have means, motive, and opportunity in order to uh, put a CPO into existence from nothing. And that in seems to be what they're exactly intending to do. So I have very high expectations for what IONA is going to be outputting for 2025. If I had to guess, right now they've got um, five locations, I think. And I would say by the end of 2025, we could be looking at 200 IANA rechargeries. And I don't think that's out of the realm of possibilities. Number six, BP Pulse Gigahubs. Now they're putting in charging at BP Pulse stations, uh, branded Arco, Amco, Thornton's, and BP to the tune of 8,000 locations that they have to choose from. They're not doing all 8,000, but they have 8,000 to choose from. They're also putting them in at Travel Centers of America, but they're building Greenfield Giga Hubs, which are very large implementations of DC fast chargers throughout the United States. And this is not only um, theoretical, there's actual, actually chargers in the ground spotted. Uh, the one in Los Angeles was recently spotted under construction, so that is ongoing now. And um, construction teams are on site and permits have been uh, submitted and approved. And so this project is 
ongoing. By the end of 2025, we should have a pretty good handful of these very large BP Pulse Giga Hubs throughout major metropolitan areas in the United States. Number five, Shell Recharge. In a press release in 2024, Shell Recharge said that they're going to be closing 500 stations per year for two years for a total of 1,000 gas stations getting closed. And in their place, they were going to be building new, net new, EV charging stations. And we're starting to see what that looks like. The press release has actually uh, got some substance to it because we have uh, construction teams again on site. We have plans. We see what it's going to look like. And the construction is moving towards the final goal and it's not stagnating. It's progressing very nicely. And so uh, in the not too distant future, we'll be charging at Shell Recharge electric vehicle charging stations um, as Shell gas stations start to diminish. Number four, these people can very quickly show everyone else, including Tesla and the Tesla supercharger team, who's boss. I'm speaking of Walmart. Walmart has all the property they need they have a team who's able to complete a mission once they're put on task. And we've seen recently from Landon's video of their new headquarters that they are EV centric. They put in 300 level two chargers at their new headquarters in Bentonville, Arkansas. And uh, we have the plans of what they're intending to do. It's just when they're starting to do it. So I would guess by this time, next year in 2026 or at the end of 2025 walmart will have at least several dozen uh stores with electric vehicle charging already operational and hundreds more waiting in the wings number three pilot flying j is a project i've been tracking for a very long time they did not complete 200 like they were intending by the end of 2024 but uh that number is uh, very close within reach. They did over 100 stations in 2024. They ended 2023 with 25 stations, and they ended 2024 with 31 stations. I'm sorry, 131 stations. So if you do the math there, they were able to do over 100 in one year, and in order to make it to 200, they only have 69 more. So it should easily be achievable, and we should see the map finally all go green. Number two, Nevi. Every 50 miles, a Nevi compliant charging station is the plan. Now, we just had a new administration show up, and during the inauguration, it was indicating that the Green New Deal was going to end. Assumingly, that's going to include the Nevi program. However, the money has mostly been allocated out of the NEVI program, although some of it can be diverted. Most of it, as at least I understand, cannot. That is, That ship has already sailed. And when I say the ship has sailed, that means we're going to be getting hundreds of new EV charging stations on interstate corridors throughout the United States and um, controlled by states. The funds have been allocated to the states, and those states are in control of their own destinies, and they've already made the decisions. I mean, just look at what Ohio did. They are now the, in my opinion, the EV charging mecca of the United States. They've got so many stations in Ohio. If you're an EV driver, that's the place to be. So hopefully the rest of the country will finally get cool like Ohio. And number one, the Oasis by the Tesla Supercharger. Off Interstate 5, what we have is not only a rendering indicating just an absolutely beautiful looking charging station immediately off the interstate in, I think it's called Lost Hills, California, um, but we also have pictures of construction teams on site turning dirt. So this plan is a go and we should have cars charging at the brand new Tesla Supercharger Oasis station before the end of 2025. So there you have it, the top 11 electric vehicle mega projects coming in 2025. Thanks for watching.